that is about is the program being about the other city, so it not being about the main city, and and then linked to that, how you can sometimes feel like the other in the city you live in. So it's really useful to to host international visitors because you see the city where you are in a different light, but it's also really good to go and visit in terms of ideas and creativity. What is it about Salford, would you say, that makes it so good for creating art? I think it feels a little bit like off-grid and underground. On the one hand, things being disorganised and chaotic is a negative, but there's also a real positive to it. And we, we've noticed that in all the cities that I think, in different ways, the organisations and people involved have a way of doing things, which is... I, I think there's just a thing of getting on and doing things, which is I don't think there's as much... I think that is harder in bigger cities. What would you say encouraging these artists to stay in these other cities does to benefit the artists and the cities as a whole? It's quite, uh, it's quite a paradox, right? So we want people to stay, and by order to do that, we send people out, which seems weird. There's still like this fighting mentality, I would say. So, so really to value the both cities for what they are. So. Uh, instead of having this uh, one-way street, we try to build a two-way street. So it's okay to uh, have artists move out because we know that uh, uh, it's likely that they come back. And somebody said, when Manchester is the restaurant, Salford is the kitchen. And I think that's, that's exactly the dynamic which is going on. And I would say the Creative Embassies is honoring the kitchens. I think it, it's enabling us to broaden the horizons of the Salford artists like sending them away to come back enriched with more experiences, different skills. It enables us to offer that right on our doorstep in Salford.